All right, I want to talk to you guys about fighting injury, fighting imbalances, because that will slow you down, prevent you from training and running consistently. Hi everyone, my name is Steve Gonser, physical therapist with Run Smart. So what we're going to cover today is right versus left side. As a physical therapist, I find a lot of my patients come in, and a lot of my runners come in, and they feel like one side's looser than the other, or one side's tighter than the other, one side's stronger than the other, and I want to talk about how that affects your running. If you want more help, be sure to check out the link in the post. Check out the Run Smart app. There's a link to a two-week trial there. You can get access to all the strength workouts and training that I've developed to help runners stay injury-free. You can get it all inside the Run Smart app and make it your one-stop uh, place for all your running. So um, this is what a lot of our strength workouts focused on, and that's kind of our bread and butter. Is how do you fix these imbalances? So I'm just going to go ahead and draw this scale and make sure I'm on screen here. So when we're looking at this just looking at this purely, if you look at like a, like say we're looking from the back, we have your right side and we have your left side. Now, ideally these things would be imbalanced. And a lot of my runners come in and they say, well, did my weak side cause the injury? Is that why it got hurt or what's going on here? But I think the important thing to, to look at is on your right and left side, you have things like strength that make a difference. You have run form, so I'll just put RF here. And those are the two big ones that people look like. When, when these are perfectly imbalanced, things are great, right? Because you're gonna have equal sides working. But in the instance of, forgot my eraser, in the instance of imbalance, let's say you have your left side, like a lot of my runners say, if I could just cut off my left side and, and give myself another right side, that'd be good. So let's look at this in a state of imbalance. Because what happens is a lot of times we, as runners, develop a, that's the wrong way, so let's, let's do this. Um, let's say your right side is stronger, your left side is weaker. What ends up happening is you can see a couple things happen here. So let's say this is the strong side and this is your weak side. What will end up happening is the, the strong side is either going to be one of two things. It's either going to overwork and get injured from doing too much work because it's going to have to carry the left side along. So imagine for a second if you're trying to run an eight minute mile, but your left side is only strong enough for a nine minute mile. In this easy example, it's clear that this side is going to have to try to generate the power and the speed to continue to run faster. So you can see in this instance, when this side works a lot harder, it's going to get overused and it's going to cause breakdown um, from that overuse. So when we see this imbalance, that can happen. Now on the left side, it's weak. So you can also see the opposite thing happen. Yes, the right side can break down from being imbalanced, but also the weak side can get uh, broken down because it can't keep up. So it, it fails, it's not able to keep up with the right side, it's weaker, so the tendons, the muscle, the joint breaks down. And the big thing here with the strength side or the flexibility side is that this imbalance does cause problems. And for my runners, you could be injured on the strong side or the weak side, it doesn't matter. The key thing is identifying what you need to do to fix it. And that's what we do, there is a link in the post to the Run Smart app with the strength workouts that I use uh, with my patients and my runners. But when you're gonna to try to fix these things, the big thing that you have to get to to fix this imbalance is, is I don't wanna say isolating, because isolating is a bad word. Uh, you don't wanna necessarily isolate anything, you wanna use things in chains, but you want to get to one leg. Because when you do a two-legged exercise, like a squat, squats are great, a lot of times I'll see like runners, they'll shift off and they'll squat onto the strong side or they'll, they'll compensate. Um, but you wanna to try to get to one leg and working on one leg strength because Let's say you're doing a squat in this scenario, the right leg's going to still over, try to overpower that right side. And unless you're in a mirror or unless you're very conscious of it in your lunges and your squats, the right leg is just going to continue to be that power horse, um, that power side. So imagine if you get to one side, and let's say you get onto your left leg, and you take the right leg out of the mix, this left side is forced to do the work. And that's why we love one-legged exercise. This is what the focus is on the Run Smart app is getting runners to two legs to one leg exercise to work on their balance and their strength. And then you get to isolate that one side of the body and use the muscle groups in a chain. So your core, your glutes, your balance, your quad, your ankle, and focus on that. But the big thing here is like you have to identify these imbalances. And sometimes it's as simple as just doing some exercise. Like this morning I was working out uh, in my gym and I'm like, wow, my left side is not keeping up. Like it's more tired when I do this exercise or I'm more off balance. And when you identify those things, you start working on them. That is the secret sauce to injury-free running. And that's what we focus on here at Run Smart. So just know that either side can get injured. You want to get to one leg exercise. If you want help fixing imbalances so you can run injury-free and prevent injuries, check out the Run Smart app. 
Links in the post. You can try us out for two weeks and get access to all the strength workouts and training you need to run injury free. All right, everyone, hope this makes sense. I kind of went off on some tangents, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Have a great day.